It's pretty racist. Well, it's red, white, and blue. I'm just saying. No, I'm saying like there was like wasn't Spider Man Red color series? Spider Man's blue. Spider Man blue. Hulk Captain Gray, America White. Daredevil yellow. Captain America White. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. it's really was just one book called Captain America the White, white. one. <laughs> <laughs> Captain America like, White. Fuck, where the fuck Sam Wilson at, man? Bullshit. He has really low sale numbers too. Who? Captain America Sam Wilson. Sam Wilson has really low sale. I was reading an article. I told him this for you. Well, I don't know. You may have been here when I was talking about it. Um, Marvel's had a lot of books sell under 20,000 lately. That's not surprising. Well, Miss Marvel's one that's only sold like 10,000. Yeah. Because they're just not good. I thought Miss Marvel was good, though. I mean, I haven't read it. I need to read it. It depends on what. Because I've read G. Willow Wilson's like indie stuff, like Cairo mm. or Air, and mm. those are both great books. But that's just her doing her thing. Like, I don't know what Marvel is, like, creeping into her office and be like, hey, we need you to do something for us, or we're going to revoke your contract. No. Great, thanks, my, bye. Revoke my contract, so yeah. oh, the, Okay, thanks, bye. Yeah. Because I can just see, because the one thing that ruins creativity more than anything is studio interference. Well, and trying to when fit executives 17 come in, books into a storyline. Yeah. So I don't know what they could have done something with Ms. Marvel. I don't know. I That's why Hickman left. Really? Yeah. yeah. Fucking Hickman left Marvel because, of because Secret Wars. Secret Wars. He didn't yeah. want him to fuck his Fantastic Four. He's yeah. like, no, you're gonna write this. You're gonna write your four into this storyline, and mm-hmm. we're gonna sell it. And he goes, fuck off. Yeah. And he bounced. And that's why there's only one issue of that Marvel history, the history of Marvel. The second one is is drawn. It's done. But he won't, they won't be released. But Hickman refuses to release yeah. it. Wait, so where's he at then? Doing independent stuff? A lot of history he? stuff? He um, did Pax Romana and... Didn't he do Manhattan Projects? Manhattan Project. He's doing, I mean, just great work that Hickman's doing right now, man. And of course, they own the, the images to, you know, Nostradamus. And so they use it in the... the uh, Secret Empire. Secret Empire stuff. Whenever Cap gets... Frozen, or when I don't know how they told that story because I didn't pick up the second like one. He but. goes into that giant pool, and they're like, This will save you from the allies as they try to rewrite history. Yeah, and so, but I, it might have frozen him, and that's why he was frozen, and then they unfroze him, but he's always been a. I don't know. Anyway, but anyway, that's why you see Nostradamus in that whole oh. couple of panels. He's there. Um, but I agree, man. I think that the only way that. You know, going back to a conversation that we had like a week ago, and I know that's kind of random, but talking about the whole Captain America thing, the only way that instead of them coming out and saying, eh, everything's going to be fine, we're gonna, just going to revert back to being the normal stuff, don't yeah. worry, let us tell our story and then we'll keep on going, is if they were to, you know, have Hydra renounce Nazi, Nazism, fascist thought, and say, we're trying to do this to make the world better. Right, or that's what I was bringing up to you, is that I think it would be a better idea if he's like, if Cap tells the heroes, like, little by little, not like a whole team of them, because the first thing he'll do is like, you're Hydra, we have to attack you, is yeah. him, like, talk to him, like, I used Hydra's resources to seize power because what is happening right now in the world can't be excused, like, we have to do something to fix all this. Right. And that would, and he's, and he's like, I don't care about He's like, this isn't, this isn't Schmidt's Hydra. You know, this isn't Red Skull Part Two. This Good is old Johan. Right. And he's like, I'm. He's like, I'm still Captain America. I've always been Captain America. I'm still like the good-hearted Steve Rogers. But I had to take drastic measures because these governments can't be trusted. They don't have the good of the people in mind anymore. But I do. And because Which... that kind of goes into. Kind of goes back to what we saw about the original secret power, secret empire way back mm. in like what the seventies, yeah, where like it's that. like this Captain America storyline. It's right before he becomes nomad. Yeah, right before he becomes nomad, and this big uh, reveal was that the person in charge of the secret empire was the president of the United States. And of course, they did that because everyone was in a state of Watergate. unrest. Watergate, yeah, seventy six. So, yeah, because Watergate. of Watergate and Nixon. So I think that to kind of like piggyback off that, be like we can't trust the governments of the world anymore. We have to make our own. We have to start over. Which would be politically viable at this point in time. Yes, it would, which is kind of how what DC is basically taking their Marvel's idea of fascism and playing off of it so it's actually telling a better story. Well, well we don't know. We'll see we'll see how it plays I would out. assume it is. <laughs> well yeah, but, and they're also what he's wanting to do with Doomsday Clock is he he talks about it in the article is mm. you know, 
all the recent political, you know, events, the election, all that stuff. Hopefully we make it to Doomsday Clock in November. Yeah, and maybe North Korea doesn't fire off missiles at us. Or Putin doesn't threaten to bomb us again. That happened already? Yeah, he goes, I I warn you about threatening North Korea. It's like, fuck off. Whatever. I think they're allied. Well, I don't know. They're not allied, no. Kim Kim Un Kim Jong Un yeah that guy Matt Damon that his son is fucking he's hated around the world period but no, anytime Kim Jong Un is the son Kim Jong I know Un's his son oh. Kim Jong Un's son Kim Jong Un is Kim Jong Il's son yeah but Kim Jong Un is a kid yeah isn't he only he's not very old is he he doesn't have a brother anymore yeah no <laughs> what <laughs> brother got killed in vietnam his brother was assassinated by him oh jesus by unsuspecting vietnamese women or indonesian women who it was vietnamese i think it yeah who went up and touched him on the skin with this super toxin and nice killed him like james bond style dude that is awesome that's like the best assassination plot i've ever heard it's fucking crazy shit and then he's like oh no not me not me man wasn't me bro it was the prostitute. Yeah, no, it wasn't. Like in the Western guy, films. A while, like a long time ago. Sort they of Westworld, killed by the way. By, uh, yeah, buddy. What did you say? I Westworld. said sort of Westworld. Oh. Guy got killed by a, uh, it was like a ricin pellet or something that was injected into his bloodstream by an umbrella point. Oh, yeah. <sighs> yeah like, well, okay, okay, no, that is some James Bond shit. Well, oh, Putin, no, it totally was. Putin used, uh, like, radioactive, like, liquid to kill somebody. Yeah. That's widely known. God, I hope we don't air in South North Korea or fucking Russia. That'd be crazy. They're like, we need to find this asshole. (laughs) These bastards with 12 listeners. (laughs) We must squash the lies. Kim Jong-un's like, yeah. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. (laughs) What is that from? Team America. Team America. Oh my God, I forgot. America. Fuck Fuck yeah. yeah. Come the motherfucking oh, day, yeah. America. Copyright struck right there. Oh, Dirk Dirk Stan. Dirk Dirk Stan. Well, Trey Parker and Matt Stone could totally sue us. Mm. <laughs> they made I've enough. actually been to South Park, Colorado. It's fun. Really? Yeah, it's, it's a real show? city. Is it anything like the show? No. Yeah, they just walking around. These little fat kid in a, in, a, <laughs> in a beanie cap and a red shirt just walking around. Going, my cheetahs! I swear to God. Kiki Poops! Yeah. I love cheesy poofs, you love cheesy poofs. It's big old bitch, the biggest bitch in the whole wide world. <laughs> you better believe it. Cat <laughs> Bath is a big fat bucket. Mm-hmm. She's right behind him the whole time. Whole time. Whole time. I love that movie. I really do. Fun. Like it... Operation Get Behind Darky. <laughs> you forget about when they invade Canada and they put all the black people in the front lines alright yeah. time to begin Operation Get Behind Darkie and they're like what the fuck <laughs> blame yeah. Canada blame Canada yeah, we're getting copyright strikes all over the front <laughs> we're not going on YouTube this we should week. just thank Trey Parker and Max Stone or, um, yeah. that doesn't matter we do not own anything by South Park no. all rights are reserved to Trey Parker and Max Stone <sighs> anyway um, that's Tuesday man we uh some some interesting news, some some stuff to definitely look forward to. Um, on Thursday, we're going to be talking about the documentary Batman and Bill, which is now number uh, two on my list of favorite documentaries. Yeah, it's it's far. pretty amazing. I'm almost um, tempted to ask what's number one. Exit through the gift shop by Banksy. Um, I didn't see that. Yeah, neither did I. I saw that movie with uh, Nick and Noah's Infinite Playlist, and then about Bank. No, so it's about a band, White Rabbit or whatever it is. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. That's anyway, a good movie, though. it's kind of based on that, isn't it? Like, kind of roughly, like the whole Banksy. No, the whole Banksy phenomenon, where like, oh my God, there's a Banksy out here, and then they run out to see this Banksy piece of art. And, yeah, like, it's nobody knows where it's at and stuff like that. The idea with Exit Through the Gift Shop is he directed it, but the idea behind it is is it's the rise and fall of a uh, I can't think of the artist's name, but his real name is Thierry Guda or Geta, and he um, is it like a graffiti artist? Yeah, but he like got accused of. Like, uh, either stealing a bunch of people's ideas or using other graffiti artists to promote mm. himself. Mm. It's really, really good. But. Yeah. Well, this is up there with Fathead. And so I forgot about stuff. that one. That's a good one. You should watch that. that no, I have seen parts of it. It I didn't, didn't change your that. life? Really? It didn't change your life? I didn't watch all of it yet. Oh, my God. It changed part of his life. 
Yeah, part of my life has been changed. I will wait until I watch all of it, and then all of my life will be changed. It will be, and you'll okay. be asking me for recipes. Oh, okay. Let me just talk right now. I didn't think about it. You will be asking me how to live a healthier lifestyle, my friend. Realizing that sugar is evil, not fat. Anyway, that's a whole different podcast. Anyway, the, the podcast. That's yeah, a different podcast. Hey. Anyways, that's Tuesday. Um, join us on Thursday for that. I do want to uh, correct an egregious error by by us. Um, and our intro music is by N- NCS Sounds. Um, it is called Hope by Tobu. And I just wanted to put that out there, and I'm going to start putting that out there uh, with everything. They are consistently on our YouTube, uh, leaving us comments and stuff like that. And I just want to say thank you to them uh, for making this music that we can use uh, royalty-free, that we don't have to pay money to use it. And it it is an amazing uh, intro for us. And thank you to those guys. Yeah, thank you to those guys. I used a lot of their stuff when I was doing uh, YouTube videos, like montage videos and stuff, because I had a misspent youth. a special thanks to uh, the guys at Rock Bottom Comics, uh, James in particular, Mayher as always. Um, I do want to let you guys know that um, next week we will not be recording at all unless we can find a different time. I will be on my way back from Chicago on Monday. We usually record these things on Mondays, um, kind of a one-shot deal when we can all get together, and I will not be back in town until Monday night. And I will be exhausted from being in Chicago and going to a Cubs game and doing all this stuff up there. Um, so we'll probably end up skipping a week, but stay tuned as we will have uh, more stuff for you the week after. So we won't be here next week. It's fair enough, right? Yeah. I guess. It's uh, whatever. whatever. I mean, you can record if you want to. I'll leave the computer here. You can come in and record. I'll do voices. Just sit in here and talk to yourself. Cody if can any- come over. So, yeah. I mean, if anything else, we could use it. Use the bye week basically as uh, a chance to come up with some better material and continue on our new path that we're absolutely about. yeah, yeah. Um, which we will definitely dive head first into on Thursday. Um, but yeah, like I said, thank you to Rock Bottom, thank you to Mayher, thank you to everybody that's out there listening. Thank you to, to us. Tobu for the track. Yeah, NCS Sounds. Thank you to uh, Trey Parker and Matt Stone for <laughs> <laughs> egregiously use cell phone references for this and, one episode. If they episode. could make a, a sequel to Basketball, I would be even more oh, grateful. Oh, man. To them. I would love that. But um, I still need to go see Book of Mormon, but that's neither here nor there. Oh, my God. We're actually referencing South Park and not Key and Peele this time. Hey. You know, you just gotta, you got you gotta take what you can get. <laughs> In the words of Dave Chappelle, I had to watch Key and Peele do my show for five fucking years. <laughs> oh, that's such a great line, man. Oh, that scene up is so good. I had to watch Key and Peele do my fucking show for five fucking years. Um, good stuff. What was I gonna say? You're about to bring me over to a different podcast. It was, I was, but no, what was I gonna say? Somebody got cast in, oh, oh. Black Ranger, Power Rangers. Yes. Got cast in Aquaman movie. Nice. nice. Yeah. Louis Lin. Yeah. yeah. He got. He's uh. He's heading up uh uh Momoa's army. He's the leader of the army for. Oh. Uh, the Atlanteans. Oh, what is his name? I know who you're talking about. He's a character. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So, That's yeah. so cool. Stoked. So, That's probably because the DC happy. realized how badass the Power Rangers. Were. I know. I'm so happy. Maybe that. we could get a Justice League Power Rangers. Yes. No, because they, yes. they just cast the black. I don't in give a shit. Give it to That's me now. That's not going to happen. Anyway. I would die if that movie came out. Ah, oh, yes. It's Anyways. Fan yes, movie. Yes. That'd be good. Fan movie. Yeah. Jason David Frank. I had to stop watching his YouTube stuff, man. It's sad. Anyway. <laughs> 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 oh, man. I would love to meet the dude, but fucking A, man. It's That's just number one on my list of people to meet, honestly. God, so. he like he goes down hallways and sets up cameras and then like walks all the way back and then walks down the hallway. You know, he does like the, but it's just him. Setting up these shots, and I'm like, nobody's fooled, bro. Just do a vlog. Like nobody do wants a vlog. Yeah, just you, that's basically what it is. But he's like trying to set up like scenery shots and shit. Anyway, seems like an awesome dude. But I and when he started is. working at Wild Dog, that was awesome. The dude that plays Wild Dog and Arrow. Anyway, thank you all, and we will see you guys on Thursday. Signing off. I'm James. I'm Cody. I'm Kalen. And yeah, like I'll say it again. We'll see you guys on Thursday. Oh, <laughs> what? We Ten seconds. For, we almost forgot. Uh, thank you to Streamer's Guide for the Galaxy. Yeah, yeah. Go go to their channel. Or we'll Guide to the Galaxy, yeah. sorry. We'll, we'll talk about them on Thursday, but go check okay. them out if you want to hear anything about 